Hi everyone and welcome back to the blog. I'm Alicia and this week I'm joined by Alan Marconi, a business development manager at Seiko AI Polymers. Alan, how are you today? Outstanding, Alicia. Thank you for asking. Of course. So in today's video, you have a presentation that you've put together and you are going to be giving us an overview of Seiko AI Polymers LSZH Compound Solutions. So at this point, I'd like to go ahead and just turn it right over to you. Thanks, Alicia. Uh, what I'm specifically going to talk about is the solutions that we have for fiber optic cables that are used for the new European construction product regulations, which took effect on July 1st, 2017. So a basic understanding would include, it affects all cables that are installed at, on and after July 1st, 2017 in hospitals, airports, commercial premises, residential areas, and transit systems. What they do in the testing of the cables is they measure six criteria under fire conditions, total heat release, peak heat release, fire growth rate, smoke production, flaming droplets, and acidity. The cable classifications that the cable makers look to achieve high to low are B2CA, CCA, DCA, ECA, and FCA. And the required classification is determined by the installation location and the particular country adoption of CPR. A, an airport in France might require a B2CA, which is a very good classification, and an airport in Germany may only require a CCA. And the B2CA and CCA validations are the most sought after and challenging classifications to get on, on the part of a cable maker and a compound manufacturer. Uh, the choice of an independent testing lab can be crucial to pass or fail, send the same cable to two different labs, you can get two different results. Uh, I want to tell you today that high oxygen index is definitely overrated. The most important attribute that you need in a cable compound, either in the buffer tube or overall jacket, is the ability to form a char and reduce flame spread, very crucial. Balancing the performance of the compound in all six test criteria is pretty challenging. When you miss one area, you drop down to the next CPR class. So in, if you had five of the areas that produced a B classification, but one that pr uh, produced only a C, you would have to drop down to the C classification. Cable design plays a very significant role in the ability to pass or fail. Uh, with that, we can only guarantee that the jacket and the buffer tubes are capable of a very high FR quality and attribute. It's the rest of the cable design, which also plays a role in pass or fail. And along with that, obviously, no compound manufacturer can promise a specific CPR rating. We can only guide you from your cable design into the best type of materials we have so that you can reach the classifications you need. All right, Alan, well, thank you so much for giving us that overview. And it's important for our audience to note that we will be getting on the blog again in the future and talking about some specific products re relating to this. So make sure that you're, you're staying tuned. You wanna watch these blogs each week. It's gonna be a little while, but you'll be able to see that on the blog. So if you're interested right now in getting in contact with Seiko AI Polymers and becoming a partner with them, you can do so by giving them a call at the number on the screen. You can also send an email to sales at seikoaei.com and make sure that you're checking out the website for all of their products and the future blogs. Thanks so much, Alan. Thanks, Alicia.